this doesn't look like a meteorite. It has no uh, outside weathering material that looks like it actually came through the atmosphere. And we've actually uh, ratted into it. We've gotten rid of the weathering rind and measured its composition. And it's a very olivine-rich basalt. So over the last year, it's been traversing from Victoria to the south-southwest um, towards Endeavor Crater. And Endeavor Crater is a very large impact crater that's much older than any of those we've seen. And on the rim, there are layers of rocks that are rich in phyllosilicates, which are thin layered, they're like clays here on Earth. We never, never, ever guessed that it would last this long. And I don't think any of us ever guessed it would explore the myriad of different terrains and surprises that we found. And, uh, and the traverse from now to Endeavor is very exciting for many of us because there are a large number of things we want to investigate along the way. I think everybody's stunned that the rovers are still going. I mean, you know, it's, it's been repeated, you know, so many times. Well, this was a 90-day mission that we're six years into a 90-day mission, uh, which is just amazing. But, you know, so here I'm connected to the rover, and I'm six years into a 90-day work assignment, you know, which is, but it's great. Well, six years down the road, I mean, both of the, both of the rovers, you know, Opportunity and Spirit um, are both confronting, you know, some, some breakdowns, you know, the arm on opportunity is, is sort of stuck. So, um, you know, we don't stow it anymore. We just sort of tuck it up in front of the rover when we drive. Uh, one of our steering actuators is, is broken, so that makes it a little bit tougher to drive, not too bad.